All right, so Jeff in Red Deer asked if I could take his Hangar 9 Twin Otter and do a little recover job on it to match the Ward Air Scheme, mainly, uh, mainly blue with some red and white. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to get at that here in the next little bit. So I'll just show you. Not sure where Jeff was able to find these. I think these are fairly tough to come by. There is the body. Got the body and the two wings. And these are the pods for the motors. Nice flap system and ailerons. And then in here, we've got a bunch of the goodies as well. Elevators. I noticed that not everything here is covering. Um, like the elevators themselves are, I'll have to see here whenever I get it apart, but I think, oh no, they might be covered. Anyways, there's gonna be a fair bit of painting too to be done on this. Um, yeah, these are the pods. They are fiberglass, so they will definitely be painted. And lots of, lots of good stuff in here. Another pod. And then we've got some fairings, landing gear. Lots of goodies. Not sure what this was from. I'll have to check. Jeff might have had a spare laying around. And then um, some goodies here. So this is the nose cone. Jeff asked if I could make this into the Canadian version, which is not the sharp pointy nose. It's more of a, it's more of a, uh, a rounded nose. And so I'll, uh, I'll rip this apart and make a little plug for it and uh, change it into a, Canadian style nose before I repaint it. You can see uh, you can see the lines here from the painting and stuff so it'll all have to be obviously body worked and re-sanded and, and painted in automotive base clear but that'll be a little part of the project. He's got a whole bunch of servos for it. I need to go through and understand what servos are what. Uh, he got two 11 by sevens and two 12 by sixes. One is the reverse, reverse pitch and then a standard pitch. Quite nice, should be good. Bunch of servo leads, some stuff from the kit, axles and stuff. And then the two motors. Sixty amp. Spectrum Avian. Cool. We got the two motors and then two speed controllers as well. I should have had this one still in plastic here. to 6s. Cool. Lots of fun goodies to play with. Pretty nice light units. And it's got a it's got a back as well, good output on the back. Wow. So two backs. Um, one for each side that should give us plenty of of juice Smarty SCs I'm gonna have to read up on this I'm not a I'm not a big uh, spectrum guy I don't know a ton about this stuff so um, it'll definitely take me a little bit to 
understand some of the details and some of the features of them. But anyways, this is uh, this is awesome. And then we've got pretty detailed manual. So the next week or so here, or next couple of days, I'm going to go through the manual in detail. And then I need to basically strip this thing all down, identify what needs to be painted and what needs to be covered, and then get at the covering job. Um, I have ordered a whole bunch of covering for it. Was able to get my hands on some mono coat, which is becoming tougher and tougher to find these days. So the main body will be, the main color will be the uh, indigo blue. And then it's got some white and red trim on it. So I got, I think I got five rolls or six rolls of the indigo blue and then a couple rolls of each red and white. And if I don't need some, PM Hobbycraft said that they would take them back, so we're good there. But I uh, appreciate the guys at PM Hobbycraft. They, uh, they were able to order this stuff in, and uh, I know it is quite tough to come by Monocoat these days, so was super appreciative of that. So this should look pretty good when it's all done, but I'll do a few, um, a few builds of covering a few, sorry, a few build videos of the covering and stuff and some of the details. There's definitely some strange, um, strange curves on this that's going to take some, some work here to get the covering to, to uh, conform to all those different curves, especially, especially like down in here. You can see this is quite a, quite a curve here. And uh, certainly from factory, they didn't really do a good job of of covering this so we can try to get all this better also many many different pieces here that they used of covering doesn't really look that good i'll see if i can try to clean that up a little bit with the uh with the blue i think that should really pop make it quite nice so so yeah before i do any hinges i'll make sure to get all this covered and uh Really looking forward to this one. Should be a fun, fun covering project.